it's me peanut welcome back to my account i am a stay-at-home mom i'm running a full-time reselling business and i got a haul i got the best haul i've gotten in a long 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 time um yeah i even found gold like gold 10k gold <laughs> that was amazing but i have already organized everything into little piles it may not look organized to you but it is to me so we're gonna start off with this bag that i have in front of me <laughs> um so i found these three ties i like picking up men's tie based on brand and this was all grouped together so I'm going to probably just sell it all together. But this is Pink, Thomas Pink, and two Brooke Brothers. And they are newer style, um, newer style kind of scarf, uh, not scarves, ties. <laughs> so I sourced them for that reason. Uh, next item is this super vintage, cute little clutch, little shoulder, not a shoulder, but like a little kind of thing in my bobby here it is adorable and it is a little quilted vintage one um it's still in a bag i don't know if it's new or not but the brand is amana woolen mills it's just this little fun wool scarf john deere cap um i don't know if this is one of the bougier john deere but i did pick it up it is in great condition and everything. I don't source shoes much because where I source, um, I don't like to get into the crowds. <laughs> I like to stay away from the crowd as much as I possibly can. But I did find these really cute Nicole. I think these are Nicole Millers. They're a little pink uh, ballerina flats with a little turtle on the front. This is a fun find. This is just a little uh, bucket hat from Wooden Ships. And it's a sequin and everything. Uh, CC Beanie. These are always a good good find. This one is, I don't even know what this is. A smiley. I don't know if this is the intended purpose. Um, or if someone decided to just sew a little shape into it. But it is 100% wool. Um, so that's why I picked it up. I'm just going to just make sure I know that the inside is sewn. All right, and this bag is the cutest little baby girl stuff ever. Like, if I had a baby girl, I would dress this baby girl in this items. But this little girl had the cutest clothes ever. Um, so T, T E A, it's just this little polka dot youth pants. Very good brand to uh, resell. Um, Tahari. It's this little fun pink. New without tags. It still has the plastic bits right here. That goes along with it. Um, newbie. Size 120. I was kind of trying to look for comps for this. I couldn't find any comps. But it reminds me of a uh, Hannah Anderson uh, size tag. That's why I sourced it. Uh, Nicole Miller, it's a really cute little baby balls. I swear this little girl, the cutest little things ever. Uh, poem size 2, it's kind of a Perry style dress. This is Hannah, I don't know, Kid to Zone. Super cute gingham dress. This little girl had the cutest little things ever. Hannah Anderson, I love selling Hannah Anderson. They have the cutest designs and they're quality, high quality item for baby clothes. These are all Hannah Anderson. So if you see them, definitely source them. Um, Marco and Mari. This is a new brand, but it is adorable. And it was all in the um, Hannah Anderson. And I do pick up based on style. I don't pick up a lot of kids clothes, but I do if it's super cute, super unique prints and the brand take. This is JT Kids. Yeah, these little girl clothes are adorable. And kids. And I don't know, I like selling um, 
kids clothes might lump this though i don't know this now this is adorable this is adorable ah i wish i made kids were small enough to still wear those but it's a linen romper overall romper that's just cute that's just too cute this is a wonder nation so it's not like a big brand but i think wonder nation is walmart but it is super cute and then Bonnie Jean, I love selling Bonnie Jean. Or, well, sorry, this is Rare Editions. Bonnie Jean already passed, but it's just this lace dress. So that's it for all the girls' clothes, all the kids' clothes, and accessories. I'm going to put them away in the pile that I got them. So when I process them, it just doesn't get to be too much. All right. Uh, let's go over to the items I have designated for whatnot. I do source for whatnot to certain items. Like so, how I'm changing my um my sourcing and my listing. Any items that I have that uh, because I'm trying to also increase my average sale price too. So what I'm doing is for in items that I generally list for ten dollars, I'm just gonna throw it on whatnot and uh, sell it for like five dollars that five dollars is a quick turnover time for the items some of it might not sell if it doesn't sell i'll list it but it's just to have that quick quick flip item so um yeah <laughs> so this is a new day striped blouse we're just gonna go through this real quick gingham dress from target so a lot of this is Target and Maurice because I do like picking those brand up, but they don't sell so much on the stores, but they have like good fan ball following and that's why I source it. Their fan base loves it. I am doing um, Pink Victoria's Secret. Uh, this one, I don't even know what this is. I picked it based on the print. So if you're brand new to whatnot, I am too. <laughs> we'll learn this together. Um, but I am starting to sell at whatnot. I've had some shows already. I've had some sales. It's a little rough to see things go for like two, three, four, five dollars. But it's to kind of build your customer base. And then once you get more reviews and more consistency, you'll be able to get that higher dollar amount for your item. It's just small stepping stones to get there. I know it stinks, but I keep telling myself I'll get to it. I'll get to the $10 per price and I'll be fine. I just need to build reviews. I just need to, you know, make sure I'm on the live doing everything that I can to get myself out there, build my following, build my reviews, my ship time. I have currently zero reviews. So I have items um, shipped out already. So I'm hoping I can get some reviews soon. But it's hard to like do live sales when you have zero reviews because there's no one giving you a if you did good or not but the chat is very awesome there I do have some people do that already um, follow my shows I have return buyers and I've only been doing this for three sh three lives so that's not that's actually really good to have two return customers <laughs> but it's all about you know building rapport and great customer service so a lot of this is, again, um, Maurice, Target brands, and some some Nikes and um, Adidas because I have an active wear, active wear, athletic, uh, athleisure um, session coming up. If you're curious, bookmark it. But these items are going on whatnot just because if I price them at $10, um... It might take a bit to sit, but I don't know. We'll see how long they do uh, and whatnot. Whatever doesn't sell, I'm just going to list it back onto my um, regular accounts anyways, like Poshmark, eBay, Macari, and all that jazz. So I wish whatnot. I mean, I wish Vendu will get on the board with adding whatnot to their one of their markets because I use Vendu. I prefer using Vendu. Over list perfectly. There's I did a huge Instagram 
explanation as to why. Um, but I do use Vendu for my, my cross listing and it's easier to do if Vendu also uh, accessed whatnot because then I can just list everything like I regularly do and then just transfer the, in, the photos. But they haven't gotten to that point yet. I think they're, they're in the work for it. So I'm just trying to get this done as fast as I can. Sorry. I don't have my um, air filter on, so there's like dust particles flying everywhere from these items. This is a Victoria's Secret one. This is um, Miss Selfridge. Yeah, a lot of like things that I can only sell for $10. Um, I'm going to throw on whatnot just to get the fast flip. If it doesn't sell, I'll list it. But then I've already done part of the work. So it's just a matter of transferring the information over and the pictures over. So either way, it'll still have to be processed. But it'll just be a little bit faster for me if I don't have to process everything. But yeah almost done with this bin and then after this bin we'll go to the fun stuff that I will plan to list onto my regular markets for the price range of above $15 and up. All right so again these are all going on to whatnot and I will have to space them based on my subjects based on what I've already listed for the store um, and everything. So that's that. Next items are the items I plan to sell for $20 or $15 up. And I had some really good stuff. I had some really, really, really good stuff. Let me just show you probably the item that you've been wanting to see instead of me just showing the $10 item. Let's get to this. <laughs> this I was not expecting to be real gold um i sourced it based off on style it's a bolo pull tie and when i got home i'm like oh let me check to see if there's any engraving on it i don't think it is real gold but there is this is um black hill gold jcd with the 10k imprint on it i know it's not gonna pick up on the camera but i'm gonna show it to you anyway I don't know if it's going to pick up. Nope. But it is this gorgeous leaf print. And I checked comps on this. It's ranging all over the board, as always. But there's one listed for $160. So I'm super excited for this. Like, I'm so excited. I, took, I was like, came home and told my husband. I was like, I found real gold at the outlet. Like, what? <laughs> That never happens. Like, and it was just because I spa I source based on style again. Source based on style, and you will succeed. <laughs> so there's that. All right, let's get to the other stuff. Um, today was a really, really great day for grandpa sweaters, chunky sweaters. Oh my god, all this dust. Uh, grandpa sweaters, chunky sweaters, vintage sweaters. I don't know what was going on. Like. Usually the vintage guys, they source that first, so I never get to, you know, touch it. But, um, yeah, they were sourcing it today, so I'm like, all oh, mines. It was so good. I was so bummed that I didn't, didn't get to all the um, bins before they rotate. My location, they rotate quick, 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 quick. And they have, like, two, four, six, eight. 12. They have 12 rows of bins. So it's a fast place. They rotate it really quick. And I myself cannot handle that. And I had my son with me today. So I couldn't get to everything as much as I wanted to. But that's fine. I'm rambling. Let's get back to the haul. Um, this vintage sweater is consensuous sportswear. It's just a um, kind of like a grid knit sweater but it is a grandpa sweater and grandpa sweater is a key term that i've been using for all of that kind of sweater because that's going to be the keyword that sells for me is grandpa sweaters 
Uh, these two, I was so busy. To, uh, it was so fast. And then, and like, I was working so hard to get through everything. I didn't have time to check for comps. So I just kind of had blind faith in my sourcing skills today. Um, and it kind of paid off, actually. These are Elux. Um, I checked the comps for this. There's not a lot of this. And I, I, I just did a quick Google research when I say I check for comps. Um, but these are the same size, these two. So I'm going to just lump them together. And I don't know what I'm going to list them for. I have to do a little bit of more research. Next item is the Studio M Vintage Leg and Look Dress. It does have a bit of embroidery, an off shoulder. I'm trying to go through this as fast because I have so much item. This is a Cheyenne. It's inside out, but it's a boho Cheyenne blouse. Probably going to list that at $15. Again, these are items I plan to list $15 and up tablets this one's a fun one Karen Kane it has like a little puff shoulders this is Lauren Ralph Lauren I had this really bougie lady I like that's why it was amazing today was this bougie lady donated her whole closet of Ralph Lauren's um, of anthropologies and um, made well it was just like she just wanted to start off fresh or something, which is good for me. Vera Moda. She and Sky. Now, I don't pick up this brand a lot, but it is a really slouchy sweater. And then it's sweater season, so I picked it up. All right. You remember how I said vintage sweaters was really shapopping today for me? Well, this one is the cutest thing ever it's a little teddy bear with a rig like rigging leaves <laughs> that is cute now like embroidered sweaters do really well for me oh why are you here sorry i thought i organized this really well um again i didn't check for comps or anything this is icelandic as icelandic designs now i've sold icelandic design sweaters before for a very good price so i'm hoping their purses are equivalent to their sweaters <laughs> so that then ask it is good to go um that's just all tops so i'm trying to stay as organized as i can to show you everything all right next item is this notations it's just kind of like a crinkle blouse boho style we're gonna try to swing through this as fast as we can bomi i love bomi it's an online boutique brand very cute boho -y, chic items new take decree it's a y2k kind of style eyelash knit color block cardigan it's kind of like giving me a lot of paris hilton um so you're probably gonna see some of the vintage christmas sweaters i've scored on vintage christmas sweaters today That's amazing i love christmas sweaters especially this time they're gonna sell really quick for me for high dollar so i probably will be able to get about 30 40 dollars per sweater this is a vintage liz claiborne it's just this nordic fair isle print that should do well too Woolen Woolridge. This is a really cute Woolridge sweater. Um, the uh, this like Fair Isle print will do well for me. Generally, that would probably fetch me about forty dollars based on print. I sourced this because it was in the bougie bin. <laughs> so uh, Ashley Brent. It is a vintage brand. It's just this button up. I do have to wash this because it smells like cigarette. I can smell it strong. It's giving me a headache. That is going right into the wash. Wash. Extra wash. Uh, new Atig J Gel Basic Blouse with a little lace hem. Alright. We're going to get into some anthropology stuff. Tula Rosa. Like they said, this lady just threw all her all her um anthropology stuff away and I caught it I found it all natural life well I didn't find it all I found some of it because I missed some of it <laughs> I found a little bit of everything today it was amazing I found a couple free people items this one does need to be sweater shape but it's a material um that you can't use a sweater shaver for otherwise your sweater shaver will eat the bejeebers out of this so it's wool blend 
That needs to be sweater shaved, but I can do that. This one is a vintage Southwestern uh, button up. Like, I'm surprised the vintage guys did not grab this. Because usually this is, I never ever find this. Like, like the Southwestern prints. Like I, like, I just don't ever find that. But I found it today. And I just think there wasn't a lot of them today. That's probably why it was really great. Um, Y2K. Y2K. I picked it up for style, for the Y2K style. This is a Cola Bura by Uggs. And I checked the comps on this. This is about a $30, $40, $30, $40 item. It's so soft. It's so, so soft. <laughs> um, Milano. Again, I didn't check for comps because I didn't have time. And the rotations was so quick that I just wanted to get through everything as fast as I can. So this Milano sweater, I came home and I checked the comps. It's about a $20 item. $20, $15, which is fine. Um, I need those low items too because they sell fast, faster than the high end. This is a vintage slip. Just a little satin Santon uh, Mixed Media one. I think that would do it well for me. Uh, this is Anthropology. This is Blank. Blank London. This is the last item I found in that bougie row. Like, I was going through it. This is They just took this rotation out too, which is really upsetting for me, personally. Um, but they just took out this rotation and... I got through like three bends before they took the whole roll out. But I found this part. This is part of the anthropology lady stuff. Uh, Lauren Ralph. Oh, Polo by Ralph Lauren. This brand has been selling amazing for me. Like I've never been able to flip it in the past. But I don't know if it's coming back or what. But it, my Polo Ralph Laurens are flying out like crazy. So I picked this up. It's just a pinstripe button up. Uh, logo, Laurie Goldstein. Again, a very consistent seller for me. I probably, it's just a basic, so I can probably get about $20 for it. Bolden. Bolden is a hit and miss, but I do like picking them up. Um, especially at the outlet since it's really cheap. Alright, Knox Rose. Now, Knox Rose is generally an item that I would only list for $10, but their dresses do really well for me. Um, so I list their dress at $15. So, all right, more vintage sweaters, grandpa style sweaters. They do so well for me. And then this is a Ralph Lauren cable knit sweater. This does come off. I just need to take some time to give it a little love and love and care. Uh, vintage, kind of like the psychedelic checkered print. All right, I found a lot of these Ralph Lauren embroidered, embroidered turtlenecks, and these do really, really well for me. Um, I should be able to get about twenty to twenty-five dollars. I have like three or four of them, so that is really good right there. This is a really high, um, high flip I am, but uh, not bundle haul. So I might take a while for everything to flip, but I am excited for everything. This is a mystery blouse. Not that I see it. It looks like there's a little something there. I'm going to have to take care of that. That is a $15 item. It's not nothing too high, but it is something I can flip. This is a vintage Christopher and Banks corduroy skirt uh, dress. Very fun green color. Perfect for the holiday. So I have to get that up soon. Free people. I found a couple of free people pieces. Um, this one, I'm just checking to see if there's any flaws, but this one is fun. These are, uh, these are older free people. That's an older free people take. So, so like a vintage one, I guess. Another fun Christopher and Banks. This is little snowman. Again, the winter theme is strong with this haul. This is a Body Slimming by Nancy Gans. I picked it up because it's real. A slip 
and it has a oh, underwire. It's kind of like a uh, Y2K movement dress. So I'm going to list it as a dress instead of a body slimmer. So that's my plan with that. All right, this item is done. This big is done. Done, done, done. We just got more. So much more. All right, so all of this is actually not part of the haul. <laughs> um, I'm gonna just show you guys these real quick to go. I went garage selling like two weeks ago and then I was gonna do a garage sale video, haul video, but I never went back garage selling. Um, Cause there are, uh, I live in Minnesota and it's October and it's already cold. So not a lot of garage sales, but I found these Ella Bean Inca booties. Um, that sh and I paid $5 for those at the garage sale. Uh, I paid $1 each for these leather skirts. Some of them do have flaws. Some of them are new with, oops. Some of them are new with takes. Some of them are from um, Wilson. It's a very good leather, leather brand store. Yeah, but I paid a dollar for all these skirts. They're all leather skirts. Oh, except for this one. This is the leather pants. The mom jean stylish. Right. So, it's a lot of vintage jean uh, leather skirts. I paid a dollar for these. There's nine total. And those are my garage sale finds. I'm just, I know I'm just, this video is a hot mess. It shouldn't be in here, but it is because it's been waiting here for me to film a video. And I just have not gone to any other garage sale because there's all that in my area, basically. Okay. Okay, okay, so this bundle, this pack rack right here, this and this bag, and then we're done. So I swear we're going to be done soon. I know it's been a long time, but this is a lot of items. This is like over 200 pounds, over three, oh wait, over 200, yeah, over 250 pounds of items. So just keep that in mind. More Christmas sweaters. <laughs> I love Christmas sweaters. They're going out for me like hotcakes. So I mean, I'm excited whenever I find these. And they're super adorable too. I'm not, I don't know. Some lady just donated all her Christmas sweater collection. Which is kind of sad for her. But good for me. Like, I don't know. I love all these Christmas sweater. They're adorable. And they're selling for me. So I'll pick them up all the time I pick Christmas sweaters up even during the summertime just for the winter just to stock up um we're done with Christmas sweaters for a bit this is the brand Adora it's just this speckled oversized um, cardigan and I sold Adora before I don't remember for how much but yes so more grandpa sweaters this is a mustard sweater rib style very 90s that's a very 90s sweater for sure another lauren Roth lauren turtleneck i have one that's new with tag actually all pink i don't know she she decided she wanted all pink turtles cynthia raleigh this is a cashmere animal print sweater it does need to be sweater shaved so i'm going to sweater shave it by hand because my lint roller will eat it up eat it eat it eat up up all right more vintage sweaters Again, today was like a really, really good day for vintage sweaters. I don't know what was going on with the vintage guys. Usually they snatch it all away from me. Uh, life is good. I love picking that brand up. This brand, I only searched it because their name was everywhere. Brack Breakburn. Breakburn is a $50, $60 um, uh, sweater. I checked the comps when I came home, so that's how I know. Um, simply Vera Wing. Uh, this will probably sell for 50. I'll list it for 15. It's just a sequin cardigan. I thought it was just fun with the sequins. Kind of gearing up for New Year's, too, on top of Christmas. Oh my gosh, this one's my favorite. This one is by far my favorite. Oh my gosh, look at the details. It's beaded, too. Ugh. It's beaded. The buttons are adorable. This is like the perfect Christmas sweater. All right. 
Oh, we'll go to the next item. So these these items I set aside to take some pictures, uh, sh like first, but um, I'm just going to do the haul because I'm kind of losing my brain. <laughs> Show me your Moo Moo. I love the brand. I actually don't get to find this brand often. Um, so I was excited. This is a new take Lulu's. It's like a crisscrossy, uh, skater style dress. Ariat. Like I'd never find this brand. I can't because I don't source for shoes, but Ariat, Ariat, extra large. This probably would fetch me about 30, $40. Just like their boots. They sell really good. Little Patagonia. Now, I don't know if it's just a button up, but it's a Patagonia show and it's organic cotton size small. Um, this was surprisingly, I found this, I was quite surprised when I found this because it was right next to the vintage guys and they usually source Patagonia too. So it was, um, shocking for me to find it. Actually, I was very shocked by all my finds today though, to be fair. Mama la fleur. I love smell uh selling her clothing items. It's such a consistent seller and it's a good high brand flip too. Bardot. It's a little side cut out mini dress. So those are my higher end items. Uh Harvey Bernard linen. I searched it for the linen. Probably get about Fifteen dollars, fifteen twenty for that. This is the vintage lands and hippie style seventies skirt, which is definitely on trend. So I had to get that listed. This is a torrid size twenty. Oh shoot, I have plus size stuff. Torrid size twenty. Um, my my brother's girlfriend she messaged me to see if I found any plus size stuff for her um, and I kind of just video chat her and she had first dips at the plus size stuff so uh, Lauren Ralph Lauren again this is the bougie lady bougie lady and her money next item is this Marciano by Gas this is a really cute tweed mini skirt can can jeans I love selling can can they're a very good consistent seller. Very good quality. They sell faster than American Eagles. Uh, Evalencies. This is an anthropology brand. This is from Bougie Lady. This is a vintage skirt. Vintage skirt. It's a maxi multi print kind of skirt. Those kind of skirts do well for me. This is a new brand to me, actually. Good human. <laughs> uh, the comps of this are actually pretty good. It's like equivalent to a Lululemon. Um, so about $30, $40. So that's not bad. Like that's a new new athletic wear to me. Um, so is this one. Eastern Mountain Sports. It's just as hiking shorts. And it still has the belt though. So that's why I sourced it. <laughs> Came home and I'm like, oh, I'm pretty good at this. Afleta. This is just a basic uh, trouser. I don't pick up Forever 21 a lot because the brand is just doesn't sell well. It's a fast fashion brand. But because it's a fast fashion brand, the Y2K 20s fashion is coming back. So I picked up this floral uh, slip skirt. And I probably would be able to get 15 because it is on trend, even though it's Forever 21. It's still good. Uh, Catherine Maladrino. Okay, I've, this is my third time trying to sell this brand. Sorry, I gotta pop my knee up like an Asian <laughs> um, because it's hurting. I have a really bad knee, a uh, bad right knee. So this, this is my third time trying to sell this brand. And I've I don't know why I tried it again, but the comps are like $30, $40. It's a fun paisley print. So I'm like, why not? I'm wearing a short underneath, so don't worry. Won't see anything. Gap. This is a wool uh, plaid skirt. This is a very chaotic haul video. 
I think it's just because I'm trying to do too much today. I went thrifting and originally I was only going to go for two hours, but it was so good. I begged my younger sister to go pick up George, my middle child from preschool. And then I had, um, stores finished everything and then, um, and I did this with Ben. Don't forget, I did this all with my little mini coworker. Um, after we got done thrifting, I had to go pick up George. It was rush hour. So that was drive that drive took me an hour. And then I hanged out with my sister and then I'll her new baby for a bit. And then I came home, organized everything, fill uh did my whatnot, got my whatnot stuff ready, did a whatnot live, and then now I'm filming. <laughs> well actually I had a chat with my um my other reseller sisters uh to show them the plus size stuff. So now I'm doing this. So it's been a chaotic day for me and it's not the night's still young it's only almost 12. <laughs> prana prana is always a good seller for me new take kendall and kylie if i always source it if it's a new take and it is so i i should be able to get about 15 bucks for that this is a leg and look skirt i do have to fix the stitching up in the front I, or list it as is, but it is a little fun patchwork, sun and moon, leg and look skirt. This vintage mini skirt from Cycle Boston. It's just a vintage little mini, mini tennis skirt. That is kind of back on trend. This is from Bougie Lady. These, this is Eloise. It's just this tool little slip skirt and I check for comps. This is about a $30 skirt, so that's nice. Anthropology is a hit and miss for sure, but that is a hit. Next item is another Anthropology Eva Franco. I found the skirt's kind of similar style for $60. Okay, Unger. I sourced this because this was in Bougie Ladies' bin, but it's not that bougie. It's only a $15, $15 pants, which is fine. That's $15. Adidas. I sourced this for my husband. Size medium. It's their three stripe uh, jogger with the little zipper on the side. But he said he has enough sweatpants, so I'm just going to list those. Next item is this Mac Studio. Full wrap skirt. It is linen, so I should be able to get 15 bucks for that. All right. So I have this, this, this doll, this mountain of shirts, <laughs> tops. But I'm gonna go and do the um, plus size. Don't fall. Don't fall. I need a plus size stuff real quick because it's already organized. Again, I only source. Um, I only did the plus size separate because I my brother's girlfriend wanted to see what I sourced, but we'll do the plus size stuff real quick. This is a Meg Morgan Taylor slip, intimate slip, five X Romans, C J Banks, one X. Just a jean skirt, very funky prints. Funky prints do really well for me. Um, Westport, it's just a basic, but it is 2X. Torrid, lace shorts, Maurice, new a take. So this is new a take. I will keep it to sell it for $15. Otherwise, it would have gone into the whatnot pile. Universal thread, it's a gauzy maxi dress. Um, although, if it wasn't. If it was a regular universal thread, I probably would have just threw it in the whatnot. But because it is gauze, I am going to list it at 15. Michael Kors. Basic Black Blouse. CJ Banks. I might actually throw that into the whatnot. But we'll see. Tablets. Talbots or Talbots. I can't pronounce words anyway, so it's okay. It doesn't matter. Romans, it's getting late, I'm losing it. <laughs> uh, Girls with Curves, this is a fun find. Uh, slink, 
jeans. These are sold at Nordstrom. They're a perfect color though, so it might be a little hard to sell that. Torrid. Target, Ava and Vip. This is probably going to go into the $10. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. Uh, the plus size Target sells really well for me though, so I might just sell it as a, um, on the regular markets. Daffodil. And these are the fun finds. These uh, bra are from Third Bird. They're the Unline and Bloom Scoop Bra. And Third Bird, oh, oh, Third Love. Oh my gosh. <laughs> their stuff is so expensive. And the resale value is there. Like, I was excited to find two bras from their brand. Like, I just knew it was going to, it's just going to do really well for me. Very, very high fl flip value items today. Lane Bryant. This is going to be a $15 item. Okay, I cannot pronounce this brand to save my life, but I can't pronounce a lot of brands to save my life, so it's all right, I guess. <laughs> this brand is called Cacao. Cacao. It's C-A-C-I-Q-U-E. And it's a plus size brand. Does super well for me. This is a paisley satin pajama top. And then this is New Take Eddie Bauer plaid. So, um, that's the plus side stuff. I only sorted it differently so that I could show my brother's girlfriend. Alright, we'll move on to the mountain. Oh no, I broke my bin. Oh darn. I guess I only paid $4 for it. Alright, we're doing the tackle the mountain of tops. So, let's just get this started. All right, next item is the Spirit of Grace. Comps is about $15, $15-$20. Next is a Alice and Joy. Very boho -y. This is a vintage sweater. I do have to sweater shape this though, so it's cable knit. And is that a hole? Nope, it's just lint. <laughs> it doesn't need to be sweater shaped. So that it is. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. I found so many gorgeous items today. This is a fully, it's like a velvet, burned out, peacock, beaded scarf. And it's beautiful. It's given me, um, what's that brand called? Um, oh my God, I cannot think about it in my head. It's like a W, uh, Johnny was, there's no missing well, there's a little bit of missing beads right here that I found. There's one, some missing beads. But there's no brand tag on here. It reminds me of Johnny Was and Santa, Santa Monica. I saw that brand once before a long, long time ago. I can't remember. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm looking to see if I can find a tag. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. This is like bougie lady anthropology. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's probably an anthropology. But... It is a beautiful, it's very, very beautiful scarf, wrap, cover. And no one sourced this. I was like, what is wrong with people today? Usually they're like on top of it. But today they were not. So they're not on top of it is my my victory. <laughs> um, Volcom Stone. I never sourced this brand, Volcom. I never source it. But it is a unique, like pinstripe it's giving me beetlejuice vibes so that's why i sourced it and it is linen so that's also why uh next item is kennedy blue it's a little satin i know it's all tied up but it's a little satin nightgown kennedy blue does really well for me another anthropology item this is mave and i was looking at this when i came home because again i didn't have time to check for any flaws it was blind faith this whole time there was a tiny stain on this that I can treat. Um, so there's that. Another 11 Nancy, 11, 11 senses. <laughs> I'm just going to stop trying. <laughs> All right. But it is a jumpsuit. 
mixed media jumpsuit. So it's like polka dot, and then it's like a regular pants, wide leg. I think one of my sons is waking up here. A lot of the puppies are going somewhere. Um, Brave. And I think Brave is sold at uh, Ever Eve. Um, so that's probably going to fetch me 15 bucks. Next item is this vintage sweater. It is wool. Wool, wool, wool. Eek. Democracy. I love sourcing Democracy. Their brand is a consistent seller for me. It is a very boho uh, kimono. Probably just get 15 bucks for that. But it's 15 bucks. This is cold water plus size. It's a little leaf embroidered sweater, jacket, jacket. But I've just learned that jacket is a thing. Like I was watching some whatnots and they said jackets. I'm like, jackets? What the heck is a jackets? <laughs> but that's a new term to me that I've never heard before. Thank you internet. <laughs> Cloth and stone. This is Alchemy Eco Fashions Recycled Silk. So I think I have to, I didn't check the comps on this, but I think the recycled silk would do well for me. Um, yeah. Vintage, vintage little blazer. This is a loft, if I remember correctly, from sorting. Um, yep, loft, lace overlay dress, and then you, it's a really cute cut, a really flattering cut, so I should be able to get 15 bucks for that. Okay, now this was also an item that was in front of the vintage guys, I don't know why they didn't source it, I don't know if they were just avoiding sweaters or just women items in general, but even the men's sweater, I was shocked when I found those, but this is a Tulu, Tulula ride. This is an anthropology, um, Tulula Ride is kind of carried an anthropology hit and miss sometimes, but this cardigan <laughs> is a fair aisle cardigan. It's a hundred percent wool. It reminds me of, I can't remember the brand. I just, my memory's gone. It's come poop. But it reminds me of Dell of Norway. There it goes. Dell of Norway. Um, it's a gorgeous cardigan. Should fetch me about $50, $60 based on print and material. I, this is roughly guesstimating based off of my past experience. This is not all. Oh, I ordered that for myself. But um, intro, it's just this pleated accordion style blouse. $15. Now these are prices I'm pretty sure I'm going to mark them at. So whatever I said, I'm probably, that's probably what I'm going to mark them at. Scrapebook, um, source based on style. Oh, of course, it's always style. It's boho y like, and looky, waterfall-y. waterfall is not a word, but that's like, comps are like 20, 25. It's all over the board, really. This is a vintage Yellowstone t-shirt. Like, like. I don't know what was going on with these vintage guys. They're usually on top of it, but today they were like, I don't know. <laughs> but the typical ones that um, I do see a lot there were not there today. So maybe that's why, but this is a vintage single stitch Yellowstone t-shirt, 1985, 65, 65, 85. Very old, much older than me. And it's in good, good condition, like, ex like really good condition. <laughs> so I was excited to find that. I don't, um, I don't know what's going on with them today. They're very nice people. Kimchi Blue is an Urban Outfitters. It is an itchy material, though, so I'm going to, I don't know. I don't know. Ella Bean, I didn't see it, uh, the flaws until I came home um, and it was starting, but there is a little hole here. Right there, right there, right there, right there. So besides that, it's it's like good. So I'm going to just list it. I don't know. It's a little big hole. It's not a little hole. It's a pretty big hole. I might, I might. I'm just going to put this on the side right now because it's not worth me dealing with it. 
basically. All right, that fell over. This is the Eloise Anthropology. Right again from Bougie Lady. Um, I sourced this because um, of the style. It reminded me of some 90s stuff. Mecca? Mecca. Mecca, Mecca. Um, so this probably would do like $20. I checked comps on that because I was curious too. This is a new it take, Sugar Thrills. It's just this little silky kind of uh, little baby doll dress. Vintage sweater. Vintage grandpa sweater. Oh. Little diamond print. This will do really well for me. So the, these kind of sweaters, I list for the I list about $40, $50. So good flip. New Universal thread. Um, it's a really like Sherpa-ish sweater, color block. So that's like a $15 item. Oh my God, my legs are like, my knees are killing me because I've been on them all day today. Wild Fable knew would take. I'm getting done with this mountain. Parker Slope. No idea what the brand is or the comps on this. I didn't check this one, but it's kind of like a uh, color blocky. <laughs> color blocky. I'm just creating my own words now. Leg and look. There's no tags on those. That item. These two I'm gonna put together. They're just J. Crew cashmere sweaters. I was excited to find that because there's no holes in that. Mondetta. Like, like that's how you pronounce it. Mondetta. I do have to lint roll it. There's little lint stuff flying everywhere because there's fabrics going everywhere. New it take. The limited. It's just this lacy cream skirt I'll dress. Vintage Victoria's Secret. I love picking up Vintage Victoria's Secret. That's a very good baby doll style. Vintage sweater. Oh my god, this video is almost an hour long. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. But I just expected. Um, what's this brand? This is a uh, new it take. The retail is $118. Becca. So, I don't know. I picked it up because it's new a tag. Uh, another holiday sweater, fall theme. Okay, this mountain's getting too big. All right, sorry for the long videos, but I sourced a lot today and I wanted to show you because I was super excited about it. <laughs> Apartment 9, new a tags, $15. New a tag, uh, Talbot's sweater, probably about 20, 25. Madewell, this little super cute neutral brown sweater, this vintage sweater, again, today was like a vintage sweater, beam, mare, Madewell, all right, Lauren Roth Lauren macrame, so that's a really good flip, or will be, I guess, I haven't flipped it yet, but will be a good flip, new a tag, via more, but new it takes, so that was a fun find. This is an airy short overall. I'll be $15, a vintage Maurice. And it's YTK tw uh, 20, so that should be about uh, $20. Again, these are rough averages of what I'm probably gonna list these items for. So take that with a grain of salt, a lot of salt, because it changes when I actually sit down on the computer. Urban Outfitters. 525 America. I love selling 525 America. I think that's a Revolve brand if I'm if I if my semi-function brain is remember correctly. The ribbons and lace. It's just this velvet vintage dress. I was hoping for a gunny sacks, didn't find it, but it's okay. I like even talked to myself. I'm like, you're gonna find one one day again. Uh Afletta, keep a net. Really chunky chunky sweater. J. Jill. So I'm trying to reach the average sale price of $20. And by eliminating, oh, that's Ann Taylor. By eliminating the $10 items, I feel like I should be able to hit that because my price range would be $15 and up. That's a like and look gauze. Another vintage sweater. This one I have the sweater shave. 
dress stay down. Cloth and stone. This is a very chaotic haul. Sorry, guys. I'm new. It's late. New take main strip. It's late, and I don't, I don't know what I'm doing no more. <laughs> oh. My set to edit this video. Current air. New take. Oh, that's a Nordstrom brand. Oh, vintage dress. Ba bum <coughs> Hold on. <coughs> so much dust. Oh. Oh, almost died. Almost died from the dust particles. <laughs> oh, this is a gap. New it takes sweater. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't laugh. I thought it was funny. Michael Kors. Almost done. Almost done. Roth Lauren. These have been selling so fast for me. Like, I lost my voice from the cough. <laughs> <laughs> or just talking for almost an hour by myself <laughs> to you guys. <laughs> All right, Lauren Ralph Lauren. Um, these pullovers have been doing amazing, amazing for me. The moment I list them, I get offers right away, and I've been kind of like on point with my offers. I've kind of been stern, like, no, you're buying them for the price I listed for, or two or five dollars under. <laughs> so they, um, it's a very good. <clears throat> it's a 4x Woo, good size good good size 4x polo Roth Lauren and this should fetch me 40 50 dollars because of the size like 4x is really good actually this one I didn't even check comps for this one but this is not a vintage sweater of course shitters full <laughs> It's just an RV. Very fun Christmas sweater. <laughs> Christmas sweaters. More Christmas sweaters. But that's the theme is giant Christmas haul. All right. Moon in Madison. I don't know if you're watching the video to this, like, this length. I give you lots of props because you got chaotic. <coughs> chaotic, out of organized. And I started coughing me. And now I lost my voice. Free people. Oh. All this particle. I can't run my air filter uh, without without it making too much noise. So, so we're just gonna have to deal with the dust. Um, I don't even know how this goes, but this is an airy swimsuit. Adidas swimsuit. A little fourteen place. I don't. I don't I have to check the comps for this. This is gonna go on the side. I don't know if it's going to be a ten dollar item or a fifteen dollar item because I have to check for comps on that. Um, this is a really cute loft blouse. La 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 la. Yeah, hem and thread, lace cardigan. Yeah, so since I'm trying to be super picky about my um, sourcing so I can get that average price up, it's just, it's been hard. <laughs> Carhartt, very good flip again. Don't know why, because they always pick up Carhartts. New Atague, American Vintage. Poetry. Almost done, almost done. Vintage vanity filled. I gotta get this listed soon. Christmas theme again. Of course, it's always Christmas theme. It's kind of like a Miss Claus kind of style. Actually, that's probably gonna be the terminology I use. The keyword. Um, free people. Where are you? Where are you? Free people. We the free. I'm super excited to find all these stuff. Chaser. And last. But not least, another vintage embroider sweater. Of course, why not? But this is the U.S. flag one. So that's everything. That's 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 everything. Like, thank you for staying. If you're still watching an hour long video haul video, 
<laughs> um, again, I found gold at the thrift store. Don't forget that. That's the important thing. I found gold at the thrift store. <laughs> but if you've been watching, I thank you so much for watching. I lost my voice for you guys. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye. -bye.